Right, here we are, we're back with the uh, GE 8-track AM FM stereo that I got from a thrift store months ago. Got it hooked up to the computer speakers at the moment, because I don't have any speakers to plug into it. I tested the radio real quick. It's nothing staticky, so that's good. The head doesn't move though, when I press this, it clicks, but the head doesn't move and this isn't lighting up at the moment. This probably won't light up until I put a tape in there. I'll turn this on for a second. See this still displays stereo. Turn on for a quick second. That's all you get because of Neil. The balance I can turn left and right. That's not staticky. Tone's not staticky. So far everything's good on that. Let me change the station real quick. So the radio works no problem. Let's try AM. difficult case of an exorcism and, and, and commands the demon to speak and identify itself and, and, the, and the demon says I get the crane to roll, roll that thing back up on its right side. Again, North Austin 75, the extra man that telegraph, that's the two, goes through that crash area. Heavy traffic southbound 75, south of Flint, as weekenders make their way back home. Keeping our eyes on and on with the AAA Jam Games, your next update and your next report. Happening real soon, we'll have it already. See, AM's working no problem. Let me put a 8-track in here. See if we get anything, if it even spins. Switch to the tape. Nothing. So it's clicking. See the lights dim when I press that. Set the tape. But nothing's happening. It's not even running. So we got to see what's going on with that. The motor's dead. I don't even hear the motor running. The poor connection. So let me take this apart and see if we can find anything. It looks like I'm not the first person to be in here. These screws look like they kind of round it out. So I don't know if, they, if it was serviced at some point. Or somebody tried to fix it. And then they just gave up and donated it. Here's the antenna wire right there. So let me see what I can do about getting these out without stripping them more. Got it apart. Motor does work. The problem is this is gummed up. Things really bind it. So this is what's caused it. So this is jamming up the motor. Yeah, it looks like it ate a tape at one point. Looks like I see some ribbon here. So it ate a tape at one point. So let me see if I can get this out of here and free this up. Then we can work on the mechanism. So I switch it over the tape. Watch. It's spinning. Noisy. So I have to give that some oil. But it spins. So this so I have to free this up. So get this old tape ribbon out of here. And see what I can do about that. Alright, that's the ribbon there. So now this spins freely. So I can put the belt back on it. And see if it even plays the tape at all. Figure out what track it's on. Then try to lubricate that head so it moves. Alright, so now that's spinning. Like it's supposed to. So that's what the problem was. This was jammed up because it ate a tape. So now I'll put this in here. Grab my freaking headphone cable. I can do this with one hand. Just 
tape. It doesn't eat the tape. Let's see, do we have sound? I don't blame him because he's running his, but the meanest thing. Alright, tape works. Can't play too much because of the copyright. But that's working and it's playing at seems like it's playing at the right speed. So now I just gotta somehow lubricate this head, get in there and free that up. So it will change tracks. So let me go ahead and mess around with that. Minor progress. Got this freed up. So now the head carriage moves. But this little pin here does not. It like rides against this cam. It spins each time this engages. It's supposed to turn this. But that's not turning. And this I can't get the budge. I put some isopropyl alcohol in there to try and dissolve the grease. I need to get like a hammer or something on there and try and tap it and see if I can free it. Get this damn head to move. Because this now moves. And this is what the adjustment screw sits on. So that has to move. I would think. Because this is what rides against it. Unless there's something missing, but that's the only thing I can see. Because this is the solenoid that engages it. Because it goes down like this. And it's supposed to turn this, which I guess presses that, because you see how oblong this is. So that's what adjusts the track. But it's not doing that. So let me, let me just see what I can do. I think we finally got it. After pulling that pin out all the way, cleaning it out, grabbing off the old grease, putting some zoom spout on it over and over and over. I think we finally got it. I can get you in here right enough so you can see. Finally changes. I don't know if the display works or not. It does. So we got the display working now too for what track it's on. So that's fixed too. Alright, we finally got this son of a bitch working. I don't know what this does. It's probably the that's probably supposed to be the detect if the tape is in or not. But that's stuck. I put some oil on there, but. Just have to turn it off to eject the tape. Because those just keep running on tape mode. But it's finally fixed. I hope I didn't do any damage. Let's put this back together. I'll pop a tape in. And go from there. Alright. I had it back together, but then the track was off by one. So like track two was three, four was one, one was two. I can't like adjust the cam because that's that's what actu act actuates the uh, head to go up and down the platform. So I took a screwdriver, and this little adjustment screw right here. This is what you use to fine tune it. So I just turned that and got it to the right track. That way now it's supposedly lined up enough. So so far I'm not hearing any bleed through in the silent part, and so far it's playing. <laughs> That's all you get, because the kneel. So far that's playing. But hit track four, will it work? So that's playing. Back to track one. Sounds fine to me. So I got it lined up. So I probably didn't hammer it and stuff. I knocked it out of alignment or somebody was turning on it trying to get it to move. But it now shifts fine. Plays. But I said that that still continues to turn after I take the tape out. So that's stuck. But who cares? It only activates when it's in tape mode anyway. See, because now it's not spinning and it's in phonograph mode. So, I got nothing else. Just put it back together. I'll clean the tape head again. So, success. Another working 8 track player. This one was a pain in the ass, a little bit challenging, but I got it working.
All right, I figured while it's open, I'm gonna go ahead and spray the uh, pots anyway, these things, for all the controls, just while I had it open. Here's the mechanism for the tape head. Like I said, you see you got the cam, and that rotates, it gets that piston that moves the head up and down. There's your solenoid, and this is the thing that indicates what track it's on. So I can't exactly rotate this, because then I put the head out of alignment. So I had to do the adjustment screw to get it into the right spot. So everything's back to normal. Everything should be working. I don't see any bad capacitors. Some big ones there for the power supply. So let's see, everything's back to normal. Go ahead and reassemble it and let's give it one final test. It's hard to pull in. Dr. Marshall works seven days a week to provide you personally with the highest quality of service available. You know, that still works. The A track still work with all this. Track still works. That's program three. So that's correct. So it's correct now. Everything's working again. I don't know if the back works or not. I have to hook those up, but I don't have any speakers hook up to it at the moment. It's hooked up to this to the aux check on the computer speakers. But it's salvaged. It works again. <laughs>